अमेरिका ते मुसलमान देर जोन नो आपनी शारा जीवन अमेरिका ते चलें जोन नो बोलते सेकंड जेनरेशन मुसलमान आपने कैसे मन है ना जो मुसलमान देर अमेरिका ते बांगली मुसलमान था कोठीन अमी मन करी अमेरिका इज़ वन ऑफ़ द बेस्ट प्लेसेस टू बी अ मुसलमान ये तो जो फालतू का था ये तो अपने गाइड जो ही बोलते हैं, बिकॉज़ अपने जाने ना अपने जेही तो बोर्न एंड रेज़ अपने अमेरिका ते आसन थकते हो अपने के, पर अपने कैसे मन है ना जो ये जे मुसलमान जात से वेस्ट है, इट इज़ डिफिकल्ट टू होल्ड ऑन टू इस्लाम देर। जस्ट बिकॉज़ समथिंग इज़ to go to pray, to give dawah, to read the Quran out loud, all these things that I might be limited even if I come to Bangladesh. But I'm not saying that just the fact that you are a, such a minority Muslim, ato alpo katugla Muslim na apna asen. So, abong protecta policy are made by people. Jadi foreign policy dekle bujai jaje. They are not a big fan of Muslims and and brown people as a whole. Because don't you are, think that don't you think that that affects your reality? We are 345 million uh, people as far as U.S. population. We are one percent of that, mm. which is 3.45 million mm -hmm. Muslims. Um, one third of that is Muslim youth uh, under the age of 30. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Very, we are you know a, min a minority such that you can't even tell that we are there. However, <laughs> if you look at the good side of things. Is that the Pew Research states that 69% of Muslims mm -hmm. in America, Muslim adults, they've at least gotten a bachelor degree or higher. Mm -hmm. Which, from even the general population of Americans, mm -hmm. we are more educated. So, if you say we are restricted in one sense, and another sense, you have to look how much mm -hmm. we've. One out of every ten, you'll see a doctor, mm -hmm. an engineer, right. right? So, are are Muslims doing great work? They are. And how are they doing great work? Because they have the opportunity. So how could we but say more that? Than, more than one percent, more than one percent jail population are Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> Explain what you mean by jail population. Those those who are convicted for uh, yeah. crime. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know that in every sense, it's not always true. Um, in every way, it's it's not free of corruption. No, that's true. absolutely absolutely. I think uh, you yeah, want to say and the and jail khanar population more than one percent. Uh, Muslims. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cover up, absolutely. But where mm -hmm. do you not find that? In which country will you go mm -hmm. here in the world? So, thank you, Khairul Bhai. Our Shomai Darjun, I'm very excited. Our Shatta Aage Onik Bar Kotha Hoyse. Our New Year's Day time Bangladesh. So, and Khairul Bhai, it's a little bit of a story. Khairul Bhai, cyber security expert, among Muslim community, they heavily involved. Um, at the same time, Muslim community te, as a Muslim Bangladeshi, only on like mentoring Korean, uh, life coach So he's very involved with the community and the uh, mosques. I'm um, closely observed Korean. And it's very interesting that he's been doing a lot Islam ke dhore raksin, on a life and family te, for throughout his life. And okay, bhai, I'm going to say that you've been watching Bollywood movies. But what's wrong? बास्केटबॉल प्लेयर ही शेवे फेमस चिलेन ओलिंपिक्स से चिलेन हेवीली स्पोर्ट्स से चिलेन बॉलीवुड के मूवी तो चिलेन मोजी दे खुद बादें रेगुलरली आकुन चुनती है बार तो माने आपने कि बेसिकली कौन पोते हैं आसन आपने बार बॉलीवुड हो गया सर घोटर लगी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह आपने � नाम तो शुरू ही तो आगे से बोले जैसे जे एक टाव वाले गोरन ने टकिया में बोले अपने तो हम एक टाव अंकल चिरन उन्हें आज नहीं रहीम उल्ला उन्हें अपने वीडियो तो चिरन अपने ये गुलाते नियाकास करते हैं वीडियो रीडिंग करते हैं तो हम एक एक दिन हम रे माने किसी किसी कम्युनिटी मेंबर्स से � not only did he say, do you want some time off from school? He said, would you like to get paid to be in a movie? Oh, wow. I mean, the deal was set then. Key movie, kya ashta se yudha jani na. Ito amadir kanik tiya de Rensselaer field, at the football mat ase, field ase. Again, at the shooting home. That's it. I'm bulam, absolutely. How much are they paying us per hour? He said, they'll pay you $250 an hour. Oh, wow. What do I have to do? Absolutely nothing. You stand behind the goalpost, 
and you just do one jump when <laughs> Shahrukh Khan makes the goal. <laughs> Shahrukh Khan, okay, I know a little bit about him. I'm not too excited to meet him, but 250, how many hours? He said four hours. I said, that's over a thousand dollars. I'm talking to basketball, 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 with over a thousand dollars, I could get at least three, four pairs of Jordans. So what happened? It happened. It was literally a, a two minute clip. If uh -huh. you, if you, I don't suggest anybody to watch that. I'm not proud of it again. Uh -huh. Even my teachers, if they hear stuff like this, they'll probably cancel me. <laughs> but, Abner Pratham shot him. Shahrukh Khan Johan goal court se, part mm -hmm. se. By the way, it wasn't even Shahrukh Khan, it was some other. <laughs> man. That's the funny part. Abner, you would think that this is some type of a big stunt or something. Right. It's a Makeup. soccer ball, <laughs> a football, you guys in Bangladesh, I'm sure, uh -huh. football, and a goal post. Uh -huh. Ta, ta backup silo, mm -hmm. ta han apner, it was a good experience, but I, you know, mm -hmm. it was, for me, it was all about the money. So, you know, as a... The most expensive jump in your life. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Allah <laughs> Akbar. <laughs> so, but I can now say to people, you've been on a Netflix show, you on YouTube, you're a YouTuber. Uh -huh. you make this, have you ever been on a Bollywood show or <laughs> Bollywood movie? So, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. So, now, Alhamdulillah. So, all good, all good. So, Akhon, Corona Hoche Jay. আমাদের মানে আমার পডকাস্টে আমি প্রচুর এটি নিয়ে ডিসকাস করি অ্যাবাউট মানে মানে মুসলিম মাইগ্রেটিং নট মাইগ্রেটিং অ্যান্ড সত্যি কথা বলতে আই হ্যাভ মোর ক্লায়েন্টস ইন নিউ ইয়র্ক অ্যান্ড টেক্সাস দেন আই হ্যাভ ইন চিটাগং অ্যান্ড সিলেট মাসাম উইচ ইজ ভেরি ইন্টারেস্টিং সো আই এম আই ভিজিটেড ইউ এস এ বাট আই এম মানে কোয়াইট কানেক্টেড বিকজ অফ মাই ক্লায়েন্টস and um, <clears throat> yes because tara amader ke reach out kore mostly because of cultural reason uh, culture language religion ei din ta karone mainly tara psychologist hisebe family bonding related teenage issue related addiction related amader sathe kotha bole and we try to help ami ajke jeta ni apnar sathe kotha bolte interested sir let is more of a wider vision je apni throughout your life apni second generation so apnar abba ma agei us e te geshe so you are staying there born raised actively involved with the community so you are fully a us citizen muslim bangali staying there killing it doing well alhamdulillah mm -hmm. all good how do you see it right how do you see muslim life in new york a bangali muslim life in new york who's holding on to islam because you know many muslim bangali muslim doesn't care about islam for them it's a bit easier in the sense that they wanted to be fluid with american citizens in culture i'm saying karon tara america ke si american hobo shesh but apni to oi sense american culture ke adhere korte chen na you are holding on to islamic identity which is definitely has its differences how do you say it how pare how hard it is how hard is it easy it is opportunities challenges it's a great question <clears throat> and with every great question you have to tackle in several different ways I believe there's a multiplicity of answers I could give you. Most of them will be anecdotal. And I would say that, and I start off saying this again, that I do believe that based on my personal experiences, being a Muslim, you know, ever since childhood, I think that, you know, America has given me the, the freedom to express myself. And now even more so in, 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 the, in the day of you can be whoever you want, whenever you want however you want mm -hmm. i truly believe there's no better time and place to be a practicing muslim mm -hmm. than now in the united states mm -hmm. when i was a child when my mother used to pick me up from school mm -hmm. you know grew up in historia queens and when she would pick me up from school i'd kind of feel embarrassed mm -hmm. and i look back at this today and sometimes i cry about it mm -hmm. my even my mother doesn't know about this but i used to feel that why is she wearing that thing on her head to pick mm -hmm. me up mm -hmm. at least during this time when you why pick me up why is she wearing hijab why is she wearing this hijab uh -huh. it's just a piece of cloth and what i'm seeing is all the other mothers who are bengali mm -hmm. muslim as well mm -hmm. alhamdulillah inshallah you know all this stuff i see, hear the same thing mm -hmm. the vocab vernacular is the same mm -hmm. but why is my mother mm -hmm. why does she have to pick me up and i was the type of kid where every day 
the teacher would hold me next like she would wait until my mother would come mm-hmm. in while my mother is approaching the teacher would say your son mm-hmm. and I'll complain every day he's mm-hmm. talking too much right mm-hmm. and i'm wait there and looking at my mom come like oh my mom's wearing that again today mm-hmm. you know 23 bochor boyoshe ekjon medhabi chhatro yunus er jonno joruri chikitsar taka dorkar তার আর চার লক্ষ টাকা বাকি তার হঠাৎ করে তার একটা ক্যান্সার ধরা পড়েছে যার ডিটেলসটা আমি উপরে ডিসকাশনে দিয়ে দিয়েছি ঢাকা মেডিকেল কলেজে এখন সে চিকিৎসারত অবস্থায় আছে আমি পাঁচ হাজার টাকা ডোনেট করছি আমি আশা করছি আপনারাও সবাই এগিয়ে আসবেন এবং আমার আপনার আমাদের শখ হওয়ার চেষ্টায় হয়তো একটা মেধাবী ছাত্রের প্রাণ বাঁচবে এবং সে আবার তার যে স্বাভাবিক জীবন সে জীবনে সে ফেরত যাবে ইনশাল্লাহ only a handful of bengali muslim families then uh-huh. in the 90s you know 90 90 to 95 and then you see a splurge of you see uh, so many you know especially a story of queens now there's a place in jamaica hillside mm-hmm. especially all you see is bengalis mm-hmm. and muslims mm-hmm. i've national mono group made up after bangladesh mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, before i actually move forward there's a funny story in jackson heights mm-hmm. i'm going to forget this so i want to mention mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it a newspaper ashilo they ekjon pan khai dese আর জোর দিয়ে পান খাইতেছে আর মা আপনার ছেপ পালাইতেছে রাস্তাত লঙ্গি পড়া সেন্ডু গেঞ্জি এখন বেশিরভাগ আপনার ফরেনার এদিকে আসে না বাট আসে ইউনো মানে বাঙালি বাংলাদেশ থেকে বাংলাদেশে আসছেন তো একটা সাদা মহিলা খকে জিন্দাইডি আসতেছে প্যাস করতেছে এখন দেখতেছে একটা বুড়া বেটা আপনার ওল্ড পার্সেন স্পিডিং ব্লাড অন দ্য ফ্লোর সাথে সাথে গেল বললো ব্রদার আর ইউ ওকে আমি কেন কল নাইন ওয়ান ওয়ান তো বেটা ইংলিশ জানে না বলতেছে না না এটা তো ফান ফান নো দিস ইজ নট ফান দিস ইজ নট ফান ওয়ে গেন কল দ্য খাপস গেন গেট দ্য অ্যাম্বুলেন্স ইউ বি ফাইন রাইট ওয়ে ইজ অল দিস ব্লাড কামিং ফ্রম না ফান ফান দিস বলতেছে পান পানের সাথে জোর দা জোর দা লাগতেছে ওর জন্য লাগতেছে আপনার ব্লাড মানে we there are some communities in america that you truly would think that is bangladesh mm-hmm. but th- that actually the change came slowly mm-hmm. right there was a time where we didn't have like what jackson is high is now right there was a time there was only a handful of muslims mm-hmm. i'm talking about back then mm-hmm. when my mother would go to school with her hijab on mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Apner. so the identity crisis started from there right like why Why can't we be normal? Mm. Now this is the guy who mm. is telling you this who's deeply in love with Allah and the mm. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam who Actively is studying. very very convinced and has conviction mm-hmm. that there is a god ever since I was young. Uh-huh. But the the point over here is why can't we just fit in with their culture even if we're talking about clothing. Mhm. Tabne chudo bela theke apne we're going to join baptism on the very minority. that's one of the challenges uh-huh. that the 3.45 million muslims in america uh-huh. you know you are probably the only muslim that the non muslim will see at work if you're a young muslim professional uh-huh. you have to be very careful uh-huh. right how you conduct yourself and what not another challenge that you are pretty much the representation of islam itself uh-huh. because you through you by you it's okay. the first time they're going to see islam right one challenge is living up to that challenge mhm uh-huh. And so you have the challenge of you know obviously all the things that we hear you know um, uh, you know Islamophobia right you know a lot of acts of racism right uh the me- lack of representation in media mm-hmm. okay but at the same time the opportunities you know they say f- as far as entrepreneurship and I know you do a lot of that yourself mm-hmm. here and mashallah Bangladesh folks I'm very proud of them Mm-hmm. of youtubers making hundreds of thousands of dollars now i know it's not that easy mm-hmm. but the world has changed mm-hmm. but in america the muslim owned businesses when it comes to entrepreneurship and what not they they when when it comes to you know them doing good for the society for the economy us economy it is said that 170 billion dollar from muslim owned businesses to to the us economy that's not small no with all these restrictions that we have we're still doing great Mm-hmm. right so w- even with the and rest- america is allowing muslims to do it yes so it's not restricted no it's not mm-hmm. you know it's 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 not restricted mm-hmm. and when i say freedom of expression 
Mm-hmm. And I don't I'm not going to get into this debate again about, you know, what type of madhahib you follow, what type of but you go to different countries and you see the restrictions. You go to one masjid, you do something a certain way, whether you place your hand on your chest or below your navel mm-hmm. or even on top of your head, if that's a position or not. But mm-hmm. the point is that you'll see someone staring at you. Mm-hmm. Right. You'll see that, you know, you you're kind of unwelcomed mm-hmm. in America. There's not enough of us for that. Mm-hmm. Even the Shia and the Sunni Muslim community back in the day, they built mas- masajid together. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, as things are right mm-hmm. uh, moving forward, as we are getting more, uh, mm-hmm. more like you know, uh, uh, there's pros and cons to, to mm-hmm. everything, right? Mm-hmm. But so the challenges are there. But I believe with those challenges, that we have great opportunities, mm-hmm. right? And well, we're definitely making America great again as Muslims. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think you guys are used I, to that I think statement. That, I think that one of the one of the interesting thing uh, is that on on that note is uh, if we go to go into details, definitely I disagree on some, agree with some. But one of the thing that I completely agree with you is that that I want to talk about is in thirty years of your life, you have seen America change, mm-hmm. didn't you? Mm-hmm. Sometimes people are like in Bangladesh is like, oh, you were. Why are you not smart enough? Why are you dressing like this? Apni kano eroko, apni kano oroko, apni kano ekono conservative. America is Jan. America ko to agai gese. Canada ko to agai gese. And uh, you know, kano amra ita korte hona, ita korte bar bona, ita di ita di. Kano chhodo ponro bosore chhele mera rat dui ta tinta chatta ponro ghurbe na ita to. I'm like, you know what? America to agai ita kora jeto na. America is normal. America is conservative. In not political sense, but in social family norms. Manu is underestimate America, the West, is uh, not a good Let's say sexual liberation in Name, or America is a family. Like, you have a Mr. Biner, Mr. Biner is a girlfriend. And her girlfriend was very I'm say, official and it is a comedy show but I'm, I'm interested in Mr. Bean I said that Mr. Bean's girlfriend who is a man who is a completely different dress for her. And Mr. Bean's girlfriend is definitely hijab but she is wearing something that is very very decent. Absolutely. Very decent. And intentionally decent. So American society back in Mr. Bean days was very, I would say, decent. Mm-hmm. I will say a clear sense of shame. Absolutely. Very defined sense of shame. Definitely, Quran hadith but mm-hmm. social sense, it was much more decent. Even from so, a cultural point of view. Even from a cultural point of view. Absolutely. And they are losing it in so many ways. And এখন আমাদের ছেলে মেয়ে উঠতেছে 16 17 বছর তারা মনে করতেছে যে এইটা কি খাইরুল ভাই আই নিউর থেকে আসে এটা কি হইলো ওরা তো দেখে মনে হচ্ছে যে উনি ইরাক থেকে আসছে ইরাক থেকে ওরি 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 আমেরিকা বহুত কি করছে আমেরিকা থেকে দেখে মনে হচ্ছে যে চুয়া ঢাকা থেকে আসছে চু অ্যাবসলিউটলি অ্যাবসলিউটলি ওয়াই ইউ নট ফাস্ট এনাফ ওয়াই ইউ নট ইউ নো এটা কি আপনারা দেখে মনে হচ্ছে আমেরিকা থেকে আসছে দূর হবিয়া তা আমার সাইবার সিকিউরিটি কাজ করে <laughs> the basketball khele the half pant up pant na eri ki hota dariyo lomba hai dariyo lomba eri mane gelo na to holo na shape up korlen na ha na full ta kibhabe ki hoye ashe holo na to mane eta to eta bling bling nai kono no you know what this is absolutely true and one of the most profound things subhanallah about in challenges itself and you know when you talk about what have i seen in the past 30 years you know america is a hot bed of ideas obviously right and the crazy part is and maybe I'm you can correct me in this but I believe that whatever idea we get Bangladesh is probably 5 10 years behind maybe or 5 years behind but it will eventually come yeah as it goes from hollywood to bollywood <coughs> to dollywood or whatever you guys have here I don't mm-hmm. even know but I'm just saying mm-hmm. right je amader dekha jay apne je bolen ege mane we are we are at the forefront of things we got the freedom mm-hmm. right which does freedom necessarily mean protection? By the way, when you say, when you say, chakal doi dar shomay apne, they can apne apne jodi daakhe they can, but New York City they can. Mane ora mono kore mane freedom to do whatever I want. 
আমি যখন প্রথম বছরে ইউখানে ঢুকি ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ খানে ঢুকি তখন আপনার হয়তো আমি লক্ষ্য করি নাই বাট ছিল না আই ডোন্ট থিঙ্ক সো আপনার বাই দ্য থার্ড ইয়ার দেখা যায় আপনার মানে ফোলের মতন আপনার প্রতিটা স্ট্রিটে আপনার মানে ইটস বিগ ক্যাম্পাস বাট দেয়ার ইজ এই ফোল উইথ দি ইমার্জেন্সি সাইন উইথ দ্য রেড বাইন এখন দেখা যাচ্ছে আপনার এভরি ইয়ার গোলস বাই in the like the dorsum like the date rape and like you know from people you know uh the uh, you know uh, the the females of the uh, college campus uh, you know complaining about this assault that assault right so they put up in every like place uh in the campus a button where you press the button and the van comes and picks you up especially uh. if you get, so it could be a friend that is assaulting you someone you know someone you don't know you're walking to your dorm at night right so apne you gotta change ami dekhi koyek boshorer bitre তো ওয়েন ইউ সার মানে এই ইনসিডেন্টগুলো হচ্ছে হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট রাইট আপনার আমার একটু অভিজ্ঞতা আছে আপনার আমি মেন্টাল হেলথে কাজ করছিলাম অ্যাজ আ অ্যাজ আ সাইকিয়াট্রিক টেকনিশিয়ান আর মানে আপনি তো এই ইউনিভার্সিটি কলেজ ক্যাম্পাসেস ইস ফ্রি মাচ ওকে ইউ ইউ ওয়ার্ক ডুইং দ্য ডে লাইক ইউ অল দ্য অল দ্য স্কুল ওয়ার্ক এডুকেট ইউ সেল ডুইং দ্য ডে এন্ড বাই নাইট টাইম ইউর ড্রিঙ্কিং এন্ড পার্টি রাইট সাম অফ দ্য উইক এন্ড স্টার্টস ওয়েনসডে নাইট ইন সাম ক্যাম্পাসেস I was in a big party school, right? Mm-hmm. We were blessed to have a masjid right in the smack down middle of the campus, alhamdulillah. Mm-hmm. I was very but fortunate. But the parties are wild. What, they're wild, mm-hmm. right? And these same people are becoming doctors, pharmacists. These people mm-hmm. are the ones who's going to guide you in life. Mm-hmm. You're gonna, but what do you like to life? And I mean, you're going to have a behavioral health unit. So the same girls are going behind those two, uh, the, the, the double doors, back doors. and they are the most depressed mm-hmm. they are on anxiolytic drugs mm-hmm. anti depression mm-hmm. why how mm-hmm. how is the girl that claims freedom and can do whatever she wants with her friends and mm-hmm. there's no uh, sense of accountability from her parents mm-hmm. or anything like that or the guys as well obviously mm-hmm. right how are they now ending up mm-hmm. so quickly at mm-hmm. the age of 20 21 22 mm-hmm. at the mm-hmm. behavioral health unit mm-hmm. with all the freedoms that they have mm-hmm. and this false sense of you know uh, how, how you know like when we say freedom because for, if we were talking about it from an islamic point of view our only fl- freedom is the sa- slavery to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like mm-hmm. when you truly know that there's only one god to be a slave of then you don't have multiple gods to be a slave of but in well, here in the west mm-hmm. what i mean by that is you, you <coughs> um, are worshiping okay, everything okay break it down a bit let me okay let me let me ask a question okay go ahead and and then you break it down i, mm-hmm. I want to dig deep on that okay okay bangladesh common chhele meder eta question holo যে আমাকে ফ্রিডম দেয় না রাইট আমাকে ফ্রিডম দেয় না আমি আমার ইচ্ছা মতো চলতে পারি না ইচ্ছা মতো দিনে বেড়াইতে পারি না রাতে বেড়াইতে পারি না যা ইচ্ছা তা করতে পারি না এই জন্য আমার বাংলাদেশ ভাল লাগে না আমি ওয়েস্টে যাবো আমি যা ইচ্ছা তা আমি করবো আমার যেমন ইচ্ছা নিজের পয়সায় যা ইচ্ছা তা করবো কারণ আমার তখন আমার ভাল লাগবে তাতে আমার কোনো ঝামেলা থাকবে না আমার ডিপ্রেশন অ্যাংজাইটি সব চলে যাবে না ইউ আর সেই ইউনিভার্সিটি ক্যাম্পাস আমেরিকাতে উইচ আর ওয়াইল্ড পার্টিস ছেলেমেয়েরা যা ইচ্ছা তা করে কোনো অ্যাকাউন্টেবিলিটি নাই এবং এখানে সেফটি সিকিউরিটি আছে ইন টার্মস অফ যে একটা মেয়ে সেক্সুয়ালি অ্যাসল্টেড হইলে সাথে সাথে তাকে সাপোর্ট করার জন্য অনেক গ্রুপ আছে ফ্রি কাউন্সিলিং সেশনস আছে তার মানে কি দে আর প্রোটেক্টেড কেউ এসে তাকে মানে তাদের যতগুলো স্টেট প্রোটেকশান দেওয়া যায় প্রোটেকশান দেওয়া হচ্ছে মেডিকেল প্রোটেক্ট হেলথ কেয়ার ওয়াইজ তাদেরকে সাপোর্ট দেওয়া হচ্ছে বাট ইউ আর সেইং that after those wild parties mm-hmm. they hit many of them hit a depression Absolutely. and this is the same thing that is written in many books mm-hmm. like i am sure shot boy kotha bole the american hookups jekhane mm-hmm. ekjon sociology professor in detail je bolche je american women in campus culture they feel they are used and abused mm-hmm. they had consent di dada mm-hmm. but then they feel me- used and abused absolutely why is that will come to religion as a solution later but tell me the crisis uh-huh. so you know education is uh, such a thing like so of widely available going to college going to school is almost mm-hmm. a must mm-hmm. whether you're female or male you especially i'm a muslim there bitra apne you know this uh, like you definitely growing up in the states you have at least a bachelor's or a masters mm-hmm. okay So re- let's just take it like even from a cultural point of view from a religious point of view whatever is you're going to go through that system. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. There's no other where you, what are you, what else are you going to do? There's mm-hmm. no other choice. Mm-hmm. So by choice or not you're you're there. You're okay. in the universities. Now you have another choice. 
to engulf yourself in that which surrounds you. Right. That which is plentiful. Mm -hmm. That which is right in your hand. Mm -hmm. That which you are restricted, restricted your whole life by your two parents. Mm -hmm. Those very restrictive, mm. harsh parents of yours mm. who told you not to go out at night mm. or not to go out with random friends or mm. friends mm -hmm. uh, that you know, mm. right? And now all of these barriers are now down. Mm. Mm. Maybe if you're a Bengali Muslim American, mm -hmm. your parents will still call you every day. Mm -hmm. But I'm in class, I'm mo, mm -hmm. I'm bo. Mm -hmm. I can't pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. And are you studies. really, are you really in, <laughs> if you were to go check out the campus libraries in America, mm -hmm. where everything starts, mm -hmm. I mean, we've lived through it. Mm -hmm. Every, whether it's a library, a classroom, a, a cafe, everything, I know people are going to think I'm extreme. Mm. Becomes Every, a problem. Everything is going towards one thing, the hookup culture. Right. But it, random uh, flings. The random flings, right? So, Apner, like, how can you, if you don't have the right support group, if you don't have the right foundations, the fundamentals, if you don't have a worldview that is both, you know, moral, ethical, right? If you don't have the right guide, the 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 right mentors and whatnot, how are you supposed to? I I ask this question like myself, like. No, no. Just go into that point a bit. I just, I just, one thing is we read about it. You are someone who were in that university at that time. You yes. have seen it yes. firsthand, experienced it. You had friends, you still have friends. Tell me this. If a 18, 19, 20, 21 year old boy and a girl have mm. all the freedom and money mm. and the wild parties enjoying bling bling life, mm -hmm. all of that, do whatever they can. Why would many of them hit emptiness and depression afterwards? Why? Absolutely. So the reason is that their expectation of that, it, it, it really didn't meet their expectation. Or even if it did, I have an interesting story where one client came in to the hospital and said that the reason I'm depressed is my fear of losing my freedom. Not that I've lost it. This was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Right? The, the client said, I'm so happy at this point of life that I am going into depression because the fear of losing this freedom. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about the actual reasons, like when you're partying, when you're doing drugs, when you're, mm -hmm. you know, like alcohol, because of these are windows and ways that which you make tons of mistakes. Mm -hmm. So now you see You that make yourself a slave. You make yourself a slave. And let me give you a primary example. You're asking like, get to the meat of it. The meat of it is that when you are making these life choices and mm -hmm. decisions, everything is coming with a consequence. Mm -hmm. Those same friends that took you to the party mm -hmm. and because of your, whether you're just tipsy or whether you were actually drunk, you've said certain things, you've done mm -hmm. certain things. Mm -hmm. Those are the same friends that are abandoning you. Yeah. And now you're in the middle of campus. Now those same circle mm -hmm. of friends who've taken you to these great great wild you know parties where mm -hmm. you know you express yourself you do it these are those friends are not there for you anymore mm -hmm. right or you make certain decisions while you're you know so I, you know the effects of drugs mm -hmm. and depending on what type mm -hmm. of person you are drug is a huge problem is huge huge, a huge issues uh, Opioid. Some, of the, some of the craziest things in the behavioral health unit i saw was because of a mix of lack of sleep and drugs right and I, I tell it to my Bangladeshi parents sometimes that, you know, in USA yeah. and Canada, drug problem hmm. is a massive problem. And they're yeah. like, oh, no, nah, I don't know what you're doing, I don't know what you're doing. I'm like, man, just, you know, study a bit. Absolutely. absolutely. It is a challenge. I'm not yeah. saying you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Opportunity, I acknowledge the opportunity. But the drug problem is a huge problem. Drug, the relationships. I remember a, a Filipino uh, sister who non-Muslim sister and my Muslim friend that came to me. Mm -hmm. He said, Khairul, we need, there's a problem. What's mm -hmm. the problem? This is my freshman year in college. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? The problem is a um, bunch of us are telling our, our friend, go out and enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's your first time drinking, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't feel guilty. Mm -hmm. And the girl is in her dorm room crying a storm because she's doesn't want to take the first step, but she's getting all these peer pressure. Yeah. She wants to, but then she doesn't want to. Mm -hmm. My whole life, I didn't actually take a sip of alcohol. She's not Muslim. Mm -hmm. She just she didn't want to do it, right? Mm -hmm. But in a land, like 
in a land where you're free to do whatever you want, but at the same time being forced to do mm-hmm. what you know what mo- majority yeah, yeah. of the people are telling mm-hmm. you. Are you truly free? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, depression and anxiety. We know most of the people who are depressed. You know, it's is based on something that's happened either in the past. Anxiety is based on something in the future, right? Mm-hmm. See these people who are going into the behavioral health unit. They've gotten whatever they they've been through. Whatever they all the the whole nine yards, mm. right? Freedom didn't make them free. It, it didn't. It it didn't. You know, because they're they're losing a part of their soul when you engage in when you engage in sexual activity. Mm. You know, as some people put as you know, I forgot who, who the author was. Like you are every single time. There's obviously there's the there's the oxytocin release, whatever, right? But every physical touch is actually giving a part of your soul away. Mm-hmm. Now they might be covering this up, mm-hmm. but this is truly happening when you give yourself up, mm-hmm. right? There's there's multiple things, factors uh, that that you know um, that pretty much lead to your unhappiness. Yeah. But when you're giving a part of the soul up, which you're you're not being taught about, mm-hmm. who's talking about the soul? Mm-hmm. Who's talking about the metaphysical world? <clears throat> so when you're feeling depressed, anxiety, and you have all these th- things right in front of you, and you still feel this way, that's because the the thing that is most important. You got, you have the mind. You are feeding it with knowledge. You have the body. You're most likely you most likely have a nutritionist coach or or someone right. Mm-hmm. But the soul part of it mm-hmm. in a university setting, when you have everything and anything to do. That's the thing that's being left, mm-hmm. and so when you find these brothers and sisters who are in mm-hmm. mental health uh, issue uh, with having mental health issues and stuff, because that part of their mm-hmm. existence is not being fed. Mm-hmm. At the same time, if you think of uh, random flicks and random flings and uh, people becoming, uh, you know, sexually active at a very yeah. young age with random partners mm-hmm. and many partners, uh, getting physically intimate is never only about. The body. Mm. It's not like going to the fast food yeah. uh, and just taking up a burger. It's, yeah. it's more than that. It's yeah. all, it, psychologically and emotionally, it means so much more than that. Absolutely. But people think that they can, their hormones are loud, they can do whatever they want and get away from, with it. They cannot. No, absolutely. They cannot. They feel like, oh, you know what, I can just play around. No, you cannot. It will have consequences. You will you will have a greater emptiness. Yeah, there will be some, you know, if boys uh, having fun, uh, but the fun thing is the the funny part is that sometimes we say that it's a patriarchal system mm-hmm. and the boys are having all the fun. Yeah. Well, the few boys who are having all the fun, yeah, you are allowing them to have more fun. Absolutely. By listening by, to your by, hormone. Absolutely. You know what I mean. Hundred percent. Yeah, right. So you are like oh. We cannot be housewives because oh, horror both haka jabe na because purush tantric shomajer purusha narcissistic purusha mande ke marte ajbe. And then you chose all the freedom, which eventually made you like a s- prostitute in OnlyFans or mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. And that same guy in 1960s was a ni- narcissistic moron. Yeah. Ekhon just taka di apna ke kine nise. Absolutely. And now you think that you are free. And that housewife is slave. Two sides what of the was, same coin. You know, but but what are you? What like money as a prostitute? How free are you? In OnlyFans, how free are you? They are paying you to do whatever. This idea of freedom, especially when you bring in the topic of marriage, mm-hmm. in a lot of you know, and and I don't want to say a lot, but Muslim sisters having this idea of not being a slave to their husbands, and mm-hmm. and obviously we don't believe in that anyways. But the the ta'a, the obedience to a husband. Listen, my dear sister, when you go to work, mm-hmm. if Mike mm-hmm. or Jerry tells you, I need the file right away. Mm-hmm. By the way, can you actually give me a cup of water? Mm-hmm. I I I bet you you won't hesitate. Mm-hmm. You won't. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to do it. This mm-hmm. is my you know as an air hostess. Just, if the pilot tells you what to do, you're gonna do it. Uh-huh. Right? Go to the same husband. Apneke. Just Doran and he is he is he doesn't he doesn't oppress you. Mm. He's doing everything right. Mm. He's 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 a lovable person. He's mm. <laughs> right, but the idea that he's going to boss you around by telling you to get this and that it just doesn't fit. Like it doesn't sit well with you, right? Mm. But you're going to, you're going to work and you're going to have to listen to another guy telling you what to do. Mm-hmm. Right, or so, another girl, or another girl. Okay, but I'm just saying that this thing of obedience to another human being 
it's <laughs> whether you go take a left or a right, you're going to find that. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's another way to put it. You know what I mean? And when when I see clients, I say that, you know what? Uh, so I ask the wife, mm-hmm. if you ask your husband to bring some medicines, mm-hmm. what do you expect him to do? To bring it also. That's what he expects you. Yeah. That's the thing. As simple <clears throat> as that. Forget about who's bossing who. Yeah, yeah. You want a husband who listens. Yeah. So listen to the husband. Yeah, yeah. As simple as yeah. that. You want the husband to listen. Yeah. Why are you why are you always thinking that, oh my God, to me, I'm going to say, 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 wait a minute. Relax. Relax. You want him to do the same thing. The same thing. And he should. Yeah. And, and he should. Yeah. So to me, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, okay. I'm like, oh, to me, I'm a slave money. To me, a narcissist. It's done. I'm not my wife. No. Then I should give her attention. Absolutely. That's my wife. Then at the same time, I'm with my wife. You know what? Chola, I'm going to eat a cup. Then I'm going to eat a cup. Oh my God, narcissistic. And I'm like, how do you want the love to come into the life? It's it's absolutely when you I want to go back to the point where I was making that in the United States, as Muslims, we are the first ones exposed to ideas, ideologies, all the isms, mm-hmm. everything, whatever you have, we're expo- mm-hmm. excuse me, we're exposed to it. And that's a pro and a con at the same time. Mm-hmm. And in five to ten years, Bangladesh, India. They will get these ideas. You see the way we used to talk and now they're talking. And we used to laugh, but when we when we used to do dawah, when we used to be asked these questions, how did the Prophet ﷺ have so many wives? How this, how that, you know? Even Kisuki Samar, I don't want to ask Kisuki. So Bangali, my uncle are coming to be there, but professors, PhD holders, very sophisticated guys. Khairu, is that really fair? I mean, the Quran is not but is that really fair? But the same man is talking to you, in your hand. I mean, to no actor in Ambal, you know, kudos to all the Bengali actors. Apne actor jinis local foreign. Judy, ek John, ane mane Muslim actor, Bengali Muslim actor, bang, uh, Purush or Nari, or a same bed, act korte se, hugging korte se. Ekhon to apne ki na, I don't know what's how the natoks are nowadays, right? Mm-hmm. But ek John shadhe mane acting kolo, the next person, or maybe 20, 25 females that he's acted with. His, mm-hmm. uh, during out uh, during his career, right? Mm-hmm. The same person is not questioning the mm-hmm. behaviors of that mm-hmm. person. But as a Muslim, mm-hmm. as a Muslim, this woman, you're not supposed to touch another woman unless you get unless mm-hmm. there's some restrictions, mm-hmm. unless you're married to them, right? So it's open game, free game. If you mm-hmm. if it's done in the name of acting and mm-hmm. these natoks and shows and whatnot, that's mm-hmm. fine. But you are questioning how is it that the purush what what is this type of? Yeah. As youth, we've been hearing this and we've been countering this ever since we were mm-hmm. young. Mm-hmm. These are the laws set by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Maybe there might be certain, certain interpretations here and there, but uh, but we find walking contradictions. Mm-hmm. You know, in uh, we find walking contradictions when you glorify a certain thing because this is in the West. Mm-hmm. It's it's given to you on a plate of Western liberalism mm-hmm. and freedom, mm-hmm. right? I, and then. If on this, if on another plate you get something similar, mm-hmm. just with some restrictions. No, just think about it. If, just to give an example, right now Jeff Bezos, hmm. for almost last, last couple of years hmm. now, Jeff Bezos, the one of the richest person in the world, and yeah. definitely a tech, uh, tech, I would say what genius, hmm. definitely a tech yeah. genius in many ways. Who, what is he doing right now? He is in a yacht at basically at a jahaz yeah. with. जहाजिंग and it is portrayed so positively glorified 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 absolutely it, all the men want to be yeah. like jeff bezos all the all women, the women many women part. many yeah. women want to be on that ship yeah and shabdosh is islam i mean like 
and jeff bezos can just because the quran and, and the hadith and, says this and, 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 and jeff bezos chaile 50 time ke baad dite pare 50 it's all good fair game everything is fair everything is and mm. it's glorified it's mm. like this is how you become it's mm. all freedom it's mm. all fair it's all liberal it's all consent absolutely, absolutely. but somehow mm. if uh, purush purush is, fine if but is, cousins uh, kibabe if islam brings it then uh kibabe no. cousin no. apnar khalat to bon ma ma is disgusting mm-hmm. in the purush purush fine mm-hmm. apnar you know no, right uh, yeah. you know uh, like mm-hmm. i, I mean all, we've been hearing this uh, so that the, to us it's it's funny because these ideas are slowly but surely mm-hmm. traveling across mm-hmm. and it, it lands in the mm-hmm. city of dhaka in bangladesh mm-hmm. it ends up it's through, already through, it's already here it's already, it's already here, here. Yeah. but i'm saying that you know when it comes I mean, to technology when uh-huh. it comes to other ideas when it mm-hmm. comes to life changing uh you know uh um, mm-hmm. like the the great stuff mm-hmm. sure go ahead but why why when it comes to morality when it mm-hmm. comes to you know uh these s- social experiments when it comes to all these things right mm-hmm. you know why do we now mm-hmm. um and this is what i was telling you the challenges of the muslims is that they're exposed to this first mm and when you are supposed what are the first. what are the interesting thing is that recently world economic forum holo na oje devos er boro lok lage chinta kore prithibi ki hobe man prithibi ki hobe man aro slave banano jay anyway so world economic forum ke niye basically washington post ekta article this is again world economic forum shuru holo jekhane sob billionaire age se seta oi bolcho je global prithibir somosto jayga theke joto prostitute ebong sex worker ra ase everyone is trying their level best to get into devos mm. why because that's where all their client demand is mm. so even for the 3 4 day conference those guys need privilege yeah. and practice it yeah and and they are supposed to be the moral educator of the yeah. whole world Absolutely. they are going to teach the whole world how to be ethical moral and all the processes are jumping into just for that four nights because it's a hub you know what i mean yeah. and somehow the the entire problem is like মানে কোরআন খুব কনজারভেটিভ কোরআন মেয়েদেরকে রাইট দেয় না এন্ড অল অফ দ্যাট হুইচ ইজ সো ফানি ইন সো মেনি ওয়েজ এন্ড সো ট্র্যাজিক দ্যাট ইভেন মুসলিমরা অনেক সময় না ইসলামে একটু মনে হয় প্রবলেম আছে গ্যাঞ্জাম আছে বাট সামথিং রিয়েলি আই মিন সরি আপনি কাট করার জন্য আপনি না সাইবার সিকিউরিটি তো কাজ করি আপনি মাঝে মাঝে কিছু কিছু জিনিস দেখি যেটা মানে ইয়েস I need to explain to myself why. আপনি তো বললেন জাস্ট ফর আ ফিউ ডেজ দে স্টিল হ্যাভ টু গেট হোয়াটএভার দে আর ইয়ারনিং ফর I mean, imagine, 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 with a government laptop, with a high-level, sophisticated job, you know, uh, I used to, before, be uh, with the uh, Department of Treasury now, with the U.S. Mm-hmm. Security and Exchange Commission, how is it that people can hold on to their urges and they're using their work laptop to go on sites that they shouldn't be going? Mm-hmm. And as a cybersecurity, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, I mean, you've done your own research on the whole field of cybersecurity, very broad, you know. Yeah, I mean, t- to simply put it, like you have the threat management where you, you know, in a SOC security operations center, you have everybody looking for the, 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 the primary threats, anything mm-hmm. going in, anything mm-hmm. going out, right? Is it with the, are you working with the U.S. State no. Department or the U.S.? Uh, U.S. SEC, SEC uh, Security and Exchange Commission. They security overlook the bonds and, right. bonds and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, stocks. Yeah, yeah. So um, the funny part, I mean, just this idea that I used to think about all the time, mm-hmm. like, how is it that these professional people in suits and ties can't, hold back even when they're in their job mm-hmm. when it's high level security work i'm not saying like so i was going to go back threat management at us at us vulnerability management at us at cyber or, or security awareness and training mm-hmm. so, and these are like the big aspects of cyber security okay mm-hmm. and so you know there's a lot to deal with in this cyber security field right mm-hmm. there's a you know insider threat outside mm-hmm. threat and all this how do do the big shots the 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 vips the the high value targets hvts how do they still have time to browse through these websites that they're not supposed to be going towards as a cybersecurity analyst when we're pulling out triages mm-hmm. now we're not supposed to make any judgment on someone's intention we cannot do that as mm-hmm. cybersecurity uh, mm-hmm. workers as front line of defense but definitely you can observe we can observe we can see how many hits from what spawned what which site who he, who he or she went to the uh, you know the user went to the end user went to and then from there which site from there what site we can do all this and even if we have pages full of uh, evidence mm-hmm. we still can make a judgment judgment uh-huh. however many people have been fired mm-hmm. based on a, 
our our analysis many mm. people have been you know go, gone through mm -hmm. uh, like uh you know the the hr process where hey mm -hmm. you're not what are you doing this is work so i mean like the morality issue the mm -hmm. the moral the ethical moral compass. Hey, in the East, right? If we just slow down and just pause and reflect for a bit. Great. The technologies and the great ideas and the in, in, innovations and all that stuff. Let's, let's, let's try to go. Let's try to beat the West in these things. But because they got the Valentine's Day, now we got the Valentine's Day too. Mm -hmm. Because they got the Halloween we, in Saudi Arabia now, bigger Halloween parties than the U.S. Mm -hmm. and the West. Mm -hmm. Because they got, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, this mm -hmm. freedom is free mixing. That's where we find freedom, mm -hmm. you know. So these things, they're a challenge to the Muslims in the West, especially the youth, because they are exposed to it in the beginning. Yeah. But then they can actually see, a, a, they, they have foresight. Mm -hmm. Like, uh oh, it's going to the East and that's gonna, it's going to be a trap for them too. Mm -hmm. So I'm down in a West End, and I'm not saying to, uh, as a uh, something to boast about or anything like that. We sit back and we just watch and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to lead to what? Yeah. Teish bachar boyshe ek jon medhavi chhatro yunusar jonno joruri chikitsa taka dorkar. Tar ar char lokho taka baki tar hotat kore tar eta cancer dhora poreche. Jar details ta ami upore discussion e diye diye chhi. Dhaka Medical College ekhon she chikitsa rota obostay ase. Ami 5000 taka donate korchi. Ami asha korchi apnar shobai egi ashben. Ebang amar apnar amader shogar chistai. Hoyto ekta medhavi chhatter pran baj ebang she abar tar je shabhabik jibon she jibon she ferod jabe. Inshallah. Train setter. Amar ekta train chhere dilam west theke amar jani je pura east and amader piche piche hardbe. Apnar show the, apnar movie the, apnar lifestyle the, apnar. A relationship mm -hmm. and uh, one of the things I wanted to mention about youth and, and the statistics are that 23% of young adults are uh, Muslims are leaving Islam, uh, Islam. Mm -hmm. and we are so happy when someone takes their shahad at the masjid and they walk through the front doors we don't see how many people are walking from the back door out mm -hmm. of Islam and that is the official data there yeah. are so many who are unofficially there, just there's some, uh, 23? same thing with people yeah. entering Islam too we yeah. don't know how you know yeah. but then the people leaving too yeah mm -hmm. They don't have to announce it. No, no. <laughs> to leave, right? And sometimes they are just, you know, politically correct, so they are like silent about it. Because majority that are Islam chere they are born Islam chere they are just born as I don't care. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter so, to me. That's it. Know, that's the convenient here, answer. There. Yeah, convenient so, answer. So, agnostic. So, apne jada bolte jai Islam apne. One of I believe, I believe mm. anecdotally, Khairul Alam speaking here, mm. my opinion is from all of the reasons as to why. Muslims leave the mm -hmm. deen, the religion. I believe that the, and I, I don't mean like uh, like the monafic, like hypocrites where they, they're going around telling, you know, they're for Islam, but they hate Islam. I'm just talking about what the youth see within their family and friends and, mm -hmm. and, extend, and ex extended family. They, they, it's, they, you know, they, they, like, like they say, children uh, listen with their eyes. Mm -hmm. The youth listen with their eyes. Mm -hmm. They say, you know, um, you know, it's it's amazing because this vicarious learning when you're young, mm -hmm. what what your mother and father is doing. Half of the Quran, but the parents don't know one ayat of the Quran. Yeah. You cannot have a boyfriend. You cannot have a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare ever talk mm -hmm. about love marriage. Same God apne dekha jayte se, apne natok 24-7, what are the natoks about? Love, uh, free, love whoever you want, do whatever you want. Mane, to baat chara ki shikta se, ki dekta se, ki shunta se. Mane, again, when they see this contradiction and this hypocrisy within mm. within themselves, low level I'm talking about, mm. then they grow up thinking that if the primary sources, which are actually the parents, when it mm. comes to Islam, the prime doesn't matter if they sorry to say sorry to say they come to live spring mm -hmm. for you know the you know these lessons or they go to this program or that program at the end of the day your primary source of like of knowledge base whether it be secular religious cultural is from mm -hmm. the parents true first institute now if this foundation is is actually contradict a contradiction where does the ch child go yeah that's, That's one of the sure. challenges. Parenting, uh, 
Yeah, I absolutely agree on that. The parenting is way more important. The quality of parenting when you're raising the kids is more important than whether you are raising the children in USA or Afghanistan or Bangladesh or wherever. Right. Parenting first. So important. I mean, okay, mm-hmm. man. You know, you should respect your parents and and this mm-hmm. and whatnot. Oh my God! Well, to say which which parent are you talking about? The mother who leaves in the morning and comes right before she tucks me into bed. The father who sexually assaulted me. Which parent are you talking about to respect? Mm-hmm. The oh, which which guardian? The 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 brother who always yells at me, tells me I'm fat and ugly. Which parent? So we even as Muslims, when we try to give dawa, to, we have a lot to learn from people. Oh, for sure. It is not as easy to tell someone, you know. No, no, uh, absolutely. I always tell. You understand that, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, the, I always tell that if you are completely emotionally unavailable, yeah, don't expect your instructions and philosophies to go go down the throat of your kids. No, it won't penetrate. It' gonna happen. It's it's not gonna work, right? So, uh-huh. Abner, you know, I have subhanallah, like parents. I have I, today. I have to tell you, you know, I have to tell you this. I'm successful, I believe, because uh-huh. of my parents. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Everything I've done in my life, mm-hmm. whether in cybersecurity, whether rela- Muslim youth mm-hmm. related stuff, what whatever it is, I truly believe that mm-hmm. I had a set of friends when I was young, my mm-hmm. parents, my mother mm-hmm. and father, mm-hmm. that I didn't need anything else. I didn't need a girlfriend. I didn't need to mm-hmm. go into drugs. I didn't need to. I was in the sports really like I was in high level sports and mm-hmm. you know like you mentioned I played kind of you know you, uh, you know I played uh, co- co- collegiate basketball I was in the youth Olympics not in the actual Olympics because then mm-hmm. you know I, I'd be youth too Olympics. famous to be over here no, no, yeah. but <laughs> but <laughs> I'm here today mm-hmm. and I do want to give this message to the youth that are watching this if they do watch this ask yourself a question what's going to happen if tomorrow you lose them Mm-hmm. Because these are a set of, you know, and from the Islamic point of view, obviously, that mm-hmm. those are gates that are shut now, mm-hmm. right? Your way to paradise mm-hmm. has shut if you lose them. Mm-hmm. Uh, m- my thing is that, you know, when we try to talk to the youth and tell them to just try to understand where your parents are coming from, and mm-hmm. even try to tell the parents, just under try to understand where your mm-hmm. children are coming from, I would say that mm-hmm. um, that we we do need to work a little mm-hmm. bit harder when it comes to the parent and child relationship because it affects so much when it comes to yeah. spirituality. Yeah. Uh, there was one client who, who said this to me, I will never forget in my life. She mm-hmm. said something, 80 year old client, mm-hmm. Caucasian lady. I'm like, okay, can you shut the door? I'm, and we had a rule in the behavioral health unit. You mm-hmm. cannot shut the door in, you know, anything with your patients, like even if it's just talking or counseling or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I said, don't worry, you can, uh, we'll keep the door open. If you need to whisper or something, go ahead, whisper to me. She said, Kai, we'll have a question for you. I said, mm-hmm. go ahead. What's your question? She said to me, and this I will never forget. She mm-hmm. said, can you tell me how one mother raised five sons? Mm-hmm. And today, those five sons as adults mm-hmm. cannot take care of one mother. Mm-hmm. Allah Akbar. Mm-hmm. Look at how beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, subhanAllah, like that question was so deep. Mm-hmm. That how does she was in for depression mm-hmm. and you know she didn't have space like her sons weren't giving her any space and whatever the case may be, look at how profound the question is. Mm-hmm. How is it that one mother raised five children mm-hmm. and those very five children now successful adults mm-hmm. doing well mm-hmm. cannot give space to one mother cannot mm-hmm. take care of one mother. Mm-hmm. This is the society in the West that we live in. This is this is our reality. We mm-hmm. see this. I'm the neighbors are mm-hmm. asajara. They are dying to see their children. Yeah. Okay, mom, I'm coming. It's Thanksgiving. Uh, we'll be there for an hour and then we yeah. have to come back to yeah. Christmas break. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. dad, we'll be there. Mm-hmm. Dad and mother is rotting in, their, rotting in their houses spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. Mm-hmm. No one tells no, it's, it's so pathetic and so common in their culture that uh, white culture, their age is between 55 to 85. Mm-hmm. And in 30 years, yeah, because next Christmas, mm. yeah, I love my mom, so mm. I'll visit him after 11 months. Yes, yes. Right. And I'll, I I might send him some flowers. Yeah. And some that's, gifts. And that's me being very respectful and dutiful to my parents. The important thing is, you know what they say is their culture. It's not their culture. 80 years back, 
it was completely a no no in western culture in 1950s 1960s america this was insane mm. they also had a concept of joint family yeah. even the joint family now we look connected family connected family now they have established that oh everyone has their private space mm-hmm. they are dying out of loneliness what, yeah. what are you talking about yeah 100% apni ki kono din jigesh korchen apnar abba amake tara ki private space chai kina beshoke tara chai na chai na Yeah. Yeah, they don't need it. They don't want. <laughs> they don't want <laughs> private space. They want your <laughs> space, and you are too stingy to give them any space. As a grandmother, they want on their di- deathbed to see the, their sons, their the daughters, grand- with grand- their granddaughters, grandsons. They yeah. want to take their final breath. I was going to say to Mona, she told me that Muslim man, they are very interesting. In Canada, the Sikh community, hmm. which less than one percent, hmm. did splendid. That is, politics has dropped again. Business has dropped again. মেদিনা one of the toughest moments in their life in <coughs> life and uh, everybody heard of most of us heard of the story of the boulder when mm-hmm. the boulder chilo or it shoraite partse na to shuja commander kase gese and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam usually e igula tuk tak jinish jonne we don't need the commander will fix it ourselves they're tired hungry mm-hmm. upset you know they can't move from this place to that place they're going to get ready for a huge battle তো এখন নবী সাসমকে ডাকলো বললো দে আমরা পারতেছি না এই বোল্ডারটা মুভ করতে আপনি আমরা একটু হেল্প করেন নবী সাসম সবাই মুখ দেখে বুঝলো এভরিবাডি ইজ আপসেট ওয়ান অফ দ্য ডার্কেস্ট মোমেন্টস ইন লাইফ ইউ সি ইন দ্য সিরা অফ দ্য প্রফিট দ্যাট ইট ইজ অ্যাট দ্য ডার্কেস্ট মোমেন্ট অ্যাট দ্য লোয়েস্ট মোমেন্ট অফ লাইফ ওয়ার হি ড্রিমস দ্য হাইয়েস্ট ওয়ার হিজ অ্যাসপিরেশনস আর দ্য হাইয়েস্ট সাল্লাহ সালাম এন্ড সো হি লুকস অ্যাট ইন হি সেজ গিভ মি দ্য চিজল Mm-hmm. and he tells a couple of the sahaba throw some water on the rock on the boulder mm-hmm. and he strikes the boulder pratham hite bole bismillah in the name of god mm-hmm. allah name mm-hmm. ta pore bollo allahu akbar mm-hmm. utitu mafatih sham mm-hmm. i can see i can see the gates of sham opening mm-hmm. i have the keys the gates of sham mm-hmm. on shat shat kisu kisu sahaba sahaba asilo or bolte se How is the prophet saying that we're going to conquer and we're going to reach to the gates of Sham when we can't even go to the bathroom outside mm-hmm. of this trench? Mm-hmm. We're having trouble just leaving this trench mm-hmm. and we're on the brink of death. Mm-hmm. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam strikes the boulder again and he mm-hmm. says, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. Mm-hmm. Then he says, I see the keys to Persia. Mm-hmm. Strikes it against, I see the keys. So what is he doing? He is telling his sahaba, that we will mm-hmm. reach mm-hmm. the far gates mm-hmm. right and now in the united states and with the campuses i talk about the 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 small streets of new york up in in this with 3000 in, mosques in, in america 3000 masajid in america up in 3.45 million people that's mm-hmm. not a small thing even though we're minor number up in aske life spring bit up in one alhamdulillah even though it's not just religious based mm-hmm. how is the la ilaha illallah getting into these small spaces because there was a dreamer Mm-hmm. even in the in the time where there was it's not reality to dream you're mm-hmm. being a little you know what i'm saying idealistic here mm-hmm. so when we follow the footsteps of the prophet islam we see that he was inspiration upon inspiration to mm-hmm. and it didn't matter what time actually in the darkest time you ins- you are most inspired right so one of the things of for the youth despite our challenges in the west let's mm-hmm. say it's not a the, the perfect utopia mm-hmm. and if you do live there Mm-hmm. and if you do end up going there migrating there and if you've been there for a while you might have your own set of challenges and problems but i guarantee you mm-hmm. when you know when the youth comes to me and says there is no opportunities in life sitting in america mm-hmm. on an american couch watching uh, the, the, watching tv watching g- having everything on, on, like on the plate delivered to you spoon fed 
when a youth comes to me, the most upsetting thing they could say to me mm-hmm. as a coach, life coach, as someone who's been dealing with the community members for a while, right, is that there's no opportunities for me. Who should I listen to you? Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he says in the Quran, mm-hmm. We have created every everything on planet earth for, for you. So mm-hmm. Johan, you lose a sense of <coughs> dreaming, aspiring. I think that's when you, they say one of the richest place on earth mm-hmm. is the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Because in the graveyard, you will find ideas that were never explained, mm-hmm. talent that was never shown, mm-hmm. authors that never w- wrote their books. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, market I mean, 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 and so living in the West, you know, despite all the challenges as a Muslim, Bengali Muslim youth and all the troubles that we go through and mm-hmm. our parents not understanding us and what the media says about us mm-hmm. and us being having identity issues, right? If I'm the only hijabi in high school, that is the case. Mm-hmm. If I'm the only per- person wearing the beard, only one asking for Juma space, only one asking for prayer space. I look so weird when I bow down, people are laughing at me, why is your... Why is your backside sticking up? And all these things that we're that they they make fun of us. If you just hold on just a little bit longer, mm-hmm. you will realize mm-hmm. that what every what everybody in the West is chasing, mm-hmm. right? A, a four you already have. Mm-hmm. And once you realize that, then you realize that you know what the people that I've been searching for the the mentors and the mm-hmm. and the guides that I actually in a in a place like the mm-hmm. USA I have to become that person. Yeah. Right, it's a challenge uh-huh. to my fourteen-year-old sister, hijabi mm-hmm. sister, who's in the in the gates of the, the West in New York City, or maybe New York City is a bad example because there is a high population of you know Bengali Muslims right. now. But let's just say in Denver or you know Colorado or New say, Mexico or New Mexico, whatever. That this sister is asking, call, you know, calling me and saying that I can't, I don't have any friends. Mm-hmm. You say good suhbah, khairul alam, great, great advice. Mm. Have good suhba, meaning companionship. Mm. Do good, work good, give good, and you'll be fine as a Muslim. Mm. That's great. But I don't have another person to look, like, like I don't have anybody to look up to. And my dear friend, mm-hmm. I have to tell you this because mm-hmm. I was in the same situation. You become the person you've been looking for. Mm-hmm. And the other thing I want to say to the, 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 the adults now, right? Mm. Think for just one second, right? And if there's any takeaway from this part of the section, I would like mm-hmm. the viewers to take this away, especially parents. Mm-hmm. They have a beautiful statement. Mm-hmm. You get to experience childhood twice. Mm-hmm. I love the quote because Apner, you get to experience childhood twice while when you spend time with your child. Mm-hmm. You're living his his childhood, you're living your childhood. Mm-hmm. You know, after a beautiful quote, I say that by the time you realize your parents were correct, your children are telling you you're wrong. Mm-hmm. SubhanAllah. I mean, it's so true. Mm-hmm. By the time you've become parents, I'm a child, I'm a mom, 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 i am Mm-hmm. of their homes now you don't see those people think it's just technology and people turning to atheism no there is an actual fear a uh, sense of fear of being taken even from your fr- front porch mm-hmm. children being you know uh you mm-hmm. know assaulted children right sex so, trafficking sex trafficking all all these things this is a reality look up some stories in texas look up some you know look at different states and how you know they're dealing with these things but the the point over here is that I've seen these changes. Philadelphia is bad. Yeah, yeah. Philadelphia is bad. You know, it's it's, <laughs> it's real. but but as a parent, I want you guys to be the person you are looking for during your child's age. Mm-hmm. As a as a guardian or as a mentor, I want you to be mm-hmm. then you know I want you to be the neighbor that you never had. I want you to be, you know, the person, the guide, the mentor, the life coach, the, you know, uh, you know, that that you were seeking for when you were young. Have that in your in your mind that when the youth are going through their problem, mm-hmm. what were you like? Mm-hmm. Sometimes mm-hmm. 
মানে অত বেদুবি করে ও দিস দিস দ্যাট মানে আই ডোন্ট নো ফি নো বাট দিস ইন্টারেস্টিং স্টোরি বা মোবিল খাতাব যে মা বাবা আসছে বলে আমার বাচ্চা তো শুনতেছে না কিছু উই নিড ইউ দ্য জাজ এগেনস্ট হ্যাম ওমর বিন আল খাত্তাবের মতন মানুষ যেখানে শয়তান মানে দর মারে যখন ওমর বিন আল খাত্তাব দেখে যখন অন্যদিকে দর মারে ওই ওমর বিন আল খাত্তাব বলতেছে নিয়ে আসছে তোমার বাচ্চাকে বাচ্চাকে প্রশ্ন করলো হোয়াট ইজ দিস ইয়োর প্যারেন্টস আর সেইং ইউ ডোন্ট লিসেন টু দেম দিস 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 তখন বাচ্চা বলে ইয়া আমিরুল মুমিনিন জাস্ট লিসেন টু व्हाट আই হ্যাভ টু সে এন্ড হি মেনশন আ কাপল অফ থিংস এন্ড ওয়ান অফ দোজ থিংস হি সেড দ্যাট মাই প্যারেন্টস নেভার এডুকেটেড মি ওয়েল দ্য সেকেন্ড থিং হি সেড ইজ দ্যাট দে নেভার গেভ মি a good name mm-hmm. and the third thing is they weren't a good example for me mm-hmm. umar bin al khattab we ma bab takaya bolte se kase takaya bolte se how after his objections how can i beat this child in front of you guys mm-hmm. mane you are the primary institute as a mother and a father you because of your relationship the best way sometimes i say to be good parents is be great role models and mm-hmm. be great the best way to be great parents is to be great spouses to each other yeah because you know very well working in life spring and doing all the things that you guys do that it's just a trickle effect yeah they're going to sure. take it out to the next relationship to mm-hmm. relation and when we talk about narcissism and what not right mm-hmm. narcissist people have a misunderstanding everybody's talking about narcissism right every youtube every coach every life is talking about narcissism narcissism right narcissism you know it's a personality it's a per- and now there is a disorder i guess it's really tricky to talk about this it's a personality trait just like you're an introvert and extrovert mm-hmm. right and every family <laughs> i feel like they're dealing with one Mm-hmm. narcissist mm-hmm. either one narcissist or a couple of mm-hmm. narcissists in their family everybody's dealing with but the point over here is that look at your own behaviors mm-hmm. see how you are reacting to whether you're mm-hmm. a parent or a child right mm-hmm. of your circumstances and see what things you could change to have a more harmonious relationship with each mm-hmm. other because if and this is what we see in the west if the family structure breaks mm-hmm. the whole world will cr- crumble mm-hmm. for sure this is as simple as it gets mm. and and the more we are making family as an just another option mm. we are struggling with everything 100% we are, we are struggling with how to fulfill our emptiness 100%. how to fill out our life with joy uh, meaningful purpose choice uh, what do you do other than just consumption mm. you know this is instant gratification yeah 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 right so a better mane everyone asks about whenever someone is asking me je bhai narcissism kemne thik korbo amar husband narcissistic amar wife narcissistic kemne thik korbo ami shoshoy boli je bhai narcissism is overrated selfishness is underrated hmm. think about getting out of selfishness try to understand selfishness apni ki chhele hisebe selfish me hisebe selfish ami stri hisebe selfish apni jodi selfishness theke bairite paren then narcissism ne deal kora khubi easy বাট আপনি যদি সেলফিশ থাকতে চান এবং তারপর যদি আপনি নার্সিজম থেকে বাইরে হইতে চান পারবেন না এটা হবে না বিকজ দ্য অ্যাট দ্য হার্ট অফ নার্সিসিজম অ্যাট দ্য হার্ট অফ ইট দের ইজ সেলফিশনেস দিনের শেষে ইজ ইজ জাস্ট আ সেলফ সেন্ট্রিক অ্যাপ্রোচ কিন্তু জিনিস হচ্ছে আপনি সারা পৃথিবীর আপনি সবসময় শুধু আমার কি লাগবে আমার যা লাগবে আমার 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 আপনি করবেন তারপরে আপনি নার্সিজম থেকে বাইরে হইতে চাবেন অথবা অন্য কারো নার্সিজম নিয়ে আপনি আপসেট হয়ে যাবেন এইন গান ওয়ার্ক এইন গান ওয়ার্ক সো বিকজ এট দ্য হার্ট অফ ইট ইটস ওনলি লাভিং ইউর সেলফ এন্ড নাথিং এলস ইউ উই ডিড টু লাভ আওয়ার সেলস বাট বাট ইফ ইউ আর হ্যাঁ ইফ ইউ আর অল অ্যাবাউট আওয়ার সেলস দেন উই আর লিমিটেড বাই আওয়ার সেলস দিস ইজ ইন্টারেস্টিং বিকজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য রিজনস আই ওয়ান্ট টু বিকাম আ লাইফ কোচ ইজ দ্য ট্রেন্ড ইজ দ্যাট ইটস সাচ দ্যাট এনিবাডি ইউ লিসেন টু ওয়াদার বি টোনি রাবেন্স জে শেট্টি Abner Eben Pagan all these mm. big you life coaches what a primary goal kin to how you love yourself until you die mm-hmm. like mane apner entertain yourself until death mm-hmm. you know and how do you entertain yourself keep increasing that love for you to a point mane mane there is no end to that mm-hmm. when you when you see all these coaches come out how can you constantly love yourself it's about yourself okay mm. even if your spouse is wanting this even if your parents are wanting this, you have to take care of it and there, to a certain extent yes because i also believe that narcissism one of the issues of narcissism one of the core issues is that there is some how can i put this you are 
I mean, in, in in a sense, you're you know you're you're deluded in one one sense, but the other, like the core of it is that you have some insecurities, right? Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of insecurities in a narcissist, and they take mm-hmm. it out in different ways, mm-hmm. right? So there is a sense of okay, you should love yourself, no doubt, but apnet very seldom do you find when i when i started this life coaching thing especially for muslim mm. youth is that how do i redirect this thing back to their creator mm-hmm. and the prophet alayhi salam mm-hmm. right instead of all the time read the books for like self improvement read the books for you know uh you know this so much so much of self help industry is shit <laughs> i mean simply it's, it's put, just shit you know not all of it but the thing the yeah. point over here is that A how much it. are you going to mm-hmm. you know abner nija ke pam do pretty much and i mean how mm-hmm. much are you going to blow yourself up like it, it, like give you like your ego has even uh, its limit mm-hmm. and when you bust it no the right. thing is man, the, the the main point why so much of self help industry is so problematic and mm-hmm. pathetic mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. because apni the khub deeply they can fundamentally it is about आपने जो भी भालू खाबर खान, आपने जो भी ठीक मोते एक्सेस करें, आपने जो भी भोर बेला घूमते के उठें, तब अगर आपने जो भी निजे के भालू वाशे, तब अगर निजे के भालू वाशर मोतो इधर में निकले जब आपने सामने रखते पारें, you will be content, happy, successful, which is not true, not true. which is not true. not true. Why? Because how will you have a sense of purpose and meaning? Yeah, they avoid the entire question. Absolutely. As I think, I say fine. I mean, the whole world deal. Okay, fine, no problem. But speak from a cultural point. Hey, you tell me if I don't have a sense of purpose and meaning, mm. why will I do this anyway? Yeah. Why do I care? I'm not really going to sense of purpose and meaning. Mm. Now, I I can simply say, you know what? I want to be fat. Yeah. I I'm okay with being ugly. I I I might just. Decide to commit What's suicide. What's the repercussion? Yeah, because ah, uh, jeta yeta hotche Switzerland de hotche. You mm. choose to commit suicide. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when it got popular, he said, "You yeah. choose to commit suicide." Allah. But no one talks about the problem that how do you define purpose and meaning, and yeah. how can you build a self-help industry yeah. without even talking about the the basic point yeah. that if you cannot define a sense of purpose, purpose. and meaning for yourself, yeah. forget about nutrition. Absolutely. Forget about Uh, waking up early. Forget about all of that because at a point again, I mean, I am going to take a book. I mean, I am going to take a book. I am going to take a book. Absolutely. I want to show you that the world is good. And I want to show you that the world is good. Going to take a book. I am 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 going to बोलते सीन अपने धार्मिक होते हैं अभी अभी जो भी बोलें जब भाई धार्मिक हो वो ना नो प्रॉब्लम बट यू हैव टू हैव अ डिफाइन्ड वेल डिफाइन्ड एंड कॉन्विक्शन ऑन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट दिस इज माय पार्पस एंड मीनिंग द व्हाई द व्हाई या द व्हाई इफ यू नो द व्हाई एनी हाउ इज पॉसिबल या या देन इफ यू हैव द व्हाई देन दैट इट्स जस्ट द प्रोसेस Self help industry is talking about the process. process so you don't without, get to the why. Without talking mm-hmm. about They're the why. Gonna You're gonna end. You know, yeah. it doesn't matter where you end up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no final destination. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, man, travel in, all you want. In in <laughs> in inevitably nihilism, but this. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> like extra days, go to have it. Why? Acha extra days, go lam. Tarpor, I have night to be am go to have it. You know, night to halo khawar khai to have it. Oh, you know what? Hey, yeah, ash. You know what I mean? Bungee jump, go to have it. Helicopter, take a lap there, video, go to have it. Call that to me, helicopter, take a lap. Yeah, ash. Now, oh, hiking, go up a hill, go to have it. That's a cool, good lap. I'm hiking, go up. But that's a key, okay? You know what I mean? How do? But when where? When where do where I say? Where, where does it end? How does it end? And you know, when I, hey, I'm going to take a hill, go up a hill, I'm going to take a lap, which I'm going to take a lap, which I'm going to take a lap, which and I miss whoever, and, and then. You know what I mean? I'm like, a life question. I'm a life coaching at questions. I'm, I have about hundred to two hundred questions of the mm-hmm. top most questions that I believe <clears throat> are the most beneficial, eye opening, inspiring for the Muslim youth. Mm-hmm. There's the backdrop is Islam, Islamic Muslim, but mm-hmm. in the <clears throat> surface level of it, mm-hmm. it's honestly questions that should just make you realize, like, like, who, like, actually, who you are, what is your purpose, right, mm-hmm. where you're going, and whatnot. That's the that's. That's what it is, but you know, and 
one of the questions I ask is the hundred million dollar question that if mm. you did did have a let's just say tax money, tax included, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Hundred million dollar in your bank. So I'm gonna where are you gonna travel? Okay, travel call like. I'm gonna tell you, what you gonna do? Your mother, father, junior, actor, Ferrari, gonna do? Your wife, owner, junior, actor, Basha, gonna do? The mansion, gonna do? Nice junior. You mean everything that you want to, you did. Just like you said, you did the skydiving. You did this. You did. You, know, you went underneath a thousand thousand feet underneath the deep blue seas, and you mm. swam with the dolphins. You did everything that you wanted to do, mm. right? You opened up your shop. You did this, 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 that. You started your own makeup company. All this stuff. They say, okay, what's next? Mm. Uh, what do you mean, what's next? Mm. Like, no, no, what's next? Mm. You have fifty million dollars, I said, left in your bank. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? Mm -hmm. When you start digging deeper. Mm. And then they start talking about after they're done telling you all, okay, I want to build my NGO. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then I'm going to build the first ever woman's orphanage. This, this, that. Gonna, okay, what's next? Mm. Right? Because even though you are, sometimes we mask our purpose with like great things in life. Mm. Great like milestones. Mm. But your mask, you still don't know the purpose. Mm -hmm. You're too afraid to think about it. Now you're back at home. You're sitting down. You still got some money left in your bank. What's next? I really wanted that. Write that that book. I'm gonna start writing that. I said, listen, whatever is next in your life, you can actually start it right now, right? And meaning you're trying to write that book. You're trying mm -hmm. to guide other people. You're trying to find a sense of. But I mean, I believe that now one of the best things after you've done everything that you've done, mm -hmm. now you want to start helping. I mean, on YouTube, I thought, ten thousand dollars a month, mm -hmm. hundred fifty. I imagine, imagine, Are they really making it? If you look at statistically, it's almost like it's really it's like the one percent of people that are mm -hmm. doing great. Amazon job I scheme. Scheme. <laughs> you, you see what I'm scheme. It's I felt our scheme. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying okay. Let's just say let's let's give the benefit of the doubt. Mm. And let's just say, let's say, let's say five percent of those people they actually they're making hundred thousand a month. Mm. Okay. So, I want to make what to say. I want to YouTube app net courses. Banana to say, job app no to reach out to them. Man, out of the goodness of their humanity, they're they're giving their life skills to you, so you can continue the work. So, app net app net man app no carbon app no hundred thousand banana man. Then app net act John can bold man. Right. This say, okay. But they are still covering the sense of giving to others, giving the knowledge base to others. So we can. But what is that purpose? Is for what reason are you doing that as well? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? There, you when you keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper, and then you don't have an answer to that. Then you realize actually how much of a loser you are. Mm -hmm. Then why people are so addicted? And why addiction is so common? Because you because addiction stops you from thinking and starts. <laughs> Short term enjoyment, absolutely, you know, because because it gives you a serious headache. Absolutely, it it it, it you know, we emptiness to buy kore niya. Shi emptiness ta ke apni bhoy pa. Jita apni vivinno nesha diye, vivinno slavery diye chapa diye. Absolutely, swipe it under the rug. Yeah, because you expose that deep emptiness. Absolutely. Then what? And yeah. then what is such a such? Then what? And and if you look what? at our Deen, Subhanallah. Mm. If you look at Every page that you turn in the Quran, mm -hmm. or every other page, mm -hmm. you see Allah asking rhetorical questions. Am khulukum min ghairi shayin am humul khaliqun am khalaqus samawati wal ardha balla yukinun. Were they created from nothing? Did they create themselves? Mm -hmm. Did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, they are confused. Mm -hmm. When the when the Bedouin goes to the Prophet of Islam and he says, you know, mata sa, when is the last day? The Prophet answers the question with another question. What, what have, you have you prepared? prepared? Have you prepared if you look at the Quran and the Sunnah, uh. question after question after question, uh -huh. because sometimes it's not the uh, answers that you get in life. Uh -huh. It is actually what you're, what you're looking for is finding the right question. Uh -huh. And if you can ask yourself the right question, uh -huh. then you're almost uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. well, Everybody's sure. looking for what, what's the answer? Uh -huh. Well, I need the answer right now. Uh -huh. Okay. अपने जो तो ही प्रोफेशनल ऑन लगे ना अपने लाइफ में एक तरह के जगह से अपने आई नीड द आंसर राइट नाउ राइट हियर एंड अपने वेस्ट तो अपने माशाल्लाह तबारक अल्लाह व्हेन दे वी नीडेड विथिन यू नो द क्विक फाइव सेकंड सर्विस या राइट लाइक वी वी मस्ट हैव वी वी हैव एवरीथिंग इन द वर्ल्ड सो आई नीड द सर्विस डन प्रॉपर्ली एंड आई नीड इट The thing is, it's not about the answers all the time. Mm -hmm. It's about if you're asking the right questions, mm -hmm. and that's why I take like uh, yeah, a lot of pride in like working with youth and asking them the right, like proper questions and right. questions that make them not like if you had two days to live, what would you be doing? That's being too generous. 
Why are you giving them two days to live? Hmm. I do it differently. I say, let's say you died yesterday. Hmm. Tell me about the past three days of your life. How did you spend it? Mm -hmm. Tell me. And they'll say, uh, <clears throat> a little bit of homework, a lot of shouting with my mother and father. Mm. Or, if you, a if, or if you have 200 years to live huh. and you have 200 million US dollars yeah. and no work, yeah. what do you do? What do you do? Oh, absolutely. Man, these, uh, these, these questions, right? Mm. You know, <clears throat> the because, famous... Because if you live for two days, yeah. that's a question of scarcity in marketing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You create a scarcity for more enjoyment. For more enjoyment. But th there's no scarcity. <laughs> like there's in a sense there's absolute scarcity yeah and in another sense there is no scarcity, there is no scarcity. and absolutely these questions subhanallah they amaze me <clears throat> the question of yourself mm. that, that there is a concept in the deen that you know you should know about yourself Man araf Allah. whoever knows themselves knows allah mm -hmm. but there is a there's a, there's a different angle that the that the deen is trying to make you the deen <clears throat> that that question is based when you do a deep down search Right. And when you're asking the right questions, if it's leading you to the right place of, of the why of the purpose, yeah, yeah. then it's OK. Find as much as the scholars say that if you want to travel far in life, sit with yourself in silence for five minutes. These are great, you know, meditation and prayer and all that stuff. <clears throat> but the question is, are you asking the right questions? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, even parents are questioning for you. What would you do if you were in your son's situation? Mm -hmm. I know he's drinking alcohol. I know he tells me about this. I know he's watching porn. He told me about this. I get it. You don't have to explain it. But my question to you is with all the gadgets and technologies, mm -hmm. with everything in front of you, mm -hmm. with the freedom, mm -hmm. with the lack of guidance. With 100,000 naked women. With, in, with 100,000 100, 100, naked women on uncle, his phone. Uncle, you tell me. Huh, in his you tell phone. me, uncle, what Free. would you do? Yeah. Yes, I will take the uh, magic pill. Mm -hmm. I'll get it from my pocket and I'll put it in his cup while we're mm -hmm. talking. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in his Starbucks coffee and then he'll change tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the what special, would you do? The special food. Auntie, okay, no problem, Auntie. I'm going to travel with this. You're trying to make all your girls munakaba. All of them should be nikabis, but auntie. I don't say it, but I no, want to say it sometimes. No, I understand. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yes, there is a sense of like finding about yourself. Man araf anafsa, araf Allah, whoever knows himself knows Allah, right? But the point is to know Allah. Mm -hmm. And when you lose Allah, mm -hmm. you lose yourself too. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm For saying? For sure. Right. And now I know we're taking it more to a re re like, you know, religious discussion. But the point is for those who are not so religious, when my atheist friends come to me and say to me, why? Why? Primary question is the evil question, right? If God is so merciful, why is there evil? Let me flip. I used to flip the script. I used to do unconventional stuff. I used to say, okay, Mike, you know what? You're right. Let's put God aside for a second. Mm. Let's say there's no God. Mm. Can, now you, explain can you explain to me why there's evil? Yeah, yeah exa I do the exact same thing. All Bye, or what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, I agree. Let's say for a second. Mm. But anyways. No, no, I understand. <laughs> no, no, I, I <laughs> do the same thing. Okay, let's say, okay. let's put God to the side. You tell yeah. me now, we'll all, explain all these yeah. things. Yeah. So Allah can test you, God can test you. Okay. Okay. So ora to bishash kona. So let me say. So tell me of all these tribulations and trials that you are agreeing with. Mana ora chaita said jannat served on a platter again. They don't want to no, work hard for no, it. No, no. The thing is that they don't believe in God when it is inconvenient, mm. but they blame God yes. when there is trouble. Absolutely. That's the thing. That's it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. In the same breath, you cannot do that. And at the, and, and at the same time, yeah. When when there is authority, mm. when there is like real authority, yeah. They listen. They listen. Even if it is evil. Yeah. But if you really believe God is the authority. Yeah. And you think that he is too hard on you. Yeah. Why don't you listen? Yeah. Because if, uh, let's say, I can't do the hard work army officer, those police officer, shabha judi eshe. Yeah. Amake bole apna ke ekhon ito di thabe. Di man. I wouldn't say fair or unfair. I'll mm. give it. Yes. Because and at that, that point, the, at, at that point, they are the authority. <laughs> yes. So if you really believe mm. that God is giving the earthquake, yeah. why don't you listen? 
if, if you really believe that. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Be- because because you cannot control the earthquake for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. And if you really believe that you came from him and you are going back to him, why don't you listen? Mm. You know. So these are the deep. Mind so so <coughs> so first questions. of all, you don't believe in him. Yeah. Uh, um, because it's inconvenient. Mm. Second of all, you blame him. Yeah. Uh, blame in a God that you don't believe. You, you don't believe, and then you are okay to follow all the irrational authorities of the world. Absolutely. Right. If it's from God. No constitution in this world was written by you. Mm-hmm. It was written by someone else. Absolutely. And you follow you it. Follow. You because follow it. Because law of the land. But what about the law of the sky? Yeah. Yeah. They don't. SubhanAllah. And this is another issue, I think, for Bengali, Muslim, and even in now in Bangladesh too. Mm-hmm. This trends and these isms that we're talking about. I'm sure you know more than me now about the rise of atheism within our own mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, you know, spaces and mm-hmm. whatnot, right? Mm-hmm. But it, it goes back to the primary purpose of answering mm-hmm. these fundamental questions. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so, it's fun. So thank you, Khairul Bhai. Um, it was fantastic talking with you. And I can talk you talk with you for another 100 thank years. You. So, exactly. so okay. it's always beautiful to talk with you. And thank you for coming to the show. Exactly. Thank you for coming for Live Spring and bringing beautiful gifts. Yeah, I really value it. And inshallah, if I'm going to New York, and takes us this uh, uh, October and inshallah then uh, then definitely um, I'll uh, visit you inshallah.